Hello everyone, welcome to round 2 here at the Hour of Devastation Almond Cat Draft. Uh, I'm playing a pretty spicy deck, and I will be keeping this hand. So I think probably I'm going to cycle Desert on turn 2. Um, that lets me have countervailing winds up as a daze. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to go planes first. Turn 2 we're going to cycle. We have plenty of lands. Uh, if our opponent does nothing, maybe I will hold up mana. Ooh, Riddle. Riddle form is pretty sweet. I would uh, really like to have that in this deck, but the last time not lucky. Okay, Mountain makes me want to play the mana with on turn 3, instead of holding up counter spell. Um, but it depends on what they do. Uh, this meta is resolving pretty important for my game plan. So I'm doing nothing. Okay. Ooh, there's a mountain. Nimble Obstructionist. Alright, we can just do nothing. We have perfect mana. We have a counter spell and a way to cancel triggered or activated abilities. They're going to scry in the turn, I'm not going to counter that. Maybe we'll just go into more like a tempo deck where end of turn I'll play the Nimble Obstructionist. Scour of the West. That's so good against me! What is happening? <laughs> I think I still run this out. It would be nice to counter the um, this ability because I have to discard a card, but just having a clock is so important here. <laughs> Our revelation. So I think I'm not going to play the Mantalith just yet because next turn I can play it and have a 3 drop up. Um, if my opponent wants me to move me for 4, that's fine. I'm going to be really disappointed to see I have two Struggle to Survives in hand during my deck. So actually, I really hope my opponent is aggro mill, because I have three ways to shuffle my graveyard back in, between the Struggles to Survives and the Commit to Memory. What is this? Ominous Sphinx? Whenever I cycle a discard, I think I just counter that. Right, unless they pay one. Yeah. Yeah. This counter spell is going to get a lot worse later in the game. Um, just clocking my opponent for 3 a turn, soon to be 5, is pretty solid. Ooh. Okay. So, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so I can play Manolith and hold up Supreme Will. Thank you for untapping that spell. So I can counter whatever they do next. I can also kill their dude if that becomes an issue. But this bird hits pretty hard. Um, after that I have a Reed Stalker. And if they play like something really sweet, I have Hour of Devastation. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Um, I have Hour of Revelation to just wipe the board. I will lose my Manolith, which is pretty important, but... Why are they playing this card? I don't know what's happening here. Sure. Ooh, Torment of Scarab. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I don't quite have enough to cast it in on a counterspell, but... Their deck looks bad, so not worried about much. There's a bit of concern of casting this before playing an Hour of Revelation. But yeah, we're gonna torment the scarabs them here. Keeping open two mana. Please just be scry. Oh yeah. 
this is not good for them. Man, this deck is great. Four mana, discard a card. Okay, so they are more than mono blue. Let's see what the black is for. Oh no! Uh oh. Alas, it was not meant to be. I would say that I wish I had waited to cast this, but like... Hour of Revelation isn't even needed here, their cards are just so bad. Um, let's see. I have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So I think I can... Hmm. I think I need to wait until I draw a land. Because I want to be able to... Well... I guess I don't need to do both. This only really costs me one. I don't need all this white mana. I want to find... Plains, I have a mountain, island. I guess I'm gonna get another island here. And then just pass the turn. Take one from the wall of forgotten pharaohs. Bane with Punisher, minus one, okay. Now my opponent's really under the gun. They're gonna start taking... Ooh. What card do they have? So I'll take three. That's not really much of an issue. They're gonna try and mill me? It's not gonna go well. Why are you keeping him back? They're gonna try and mill me. That mills for three. Sure. That seems so bad though. <laughs> You're dying the torment of scarabs. And even Reed Stalker now. Okay, so we're gonna try and hide these struggles to survive just so they don't know just how much trouble they're in. Because them discarding cards is just so good for me. And I know they have no non-creature spells. So it's really whatever they draw. Sure, I can take one. If they animate the riddle form, I think I might kill it with Struggle to Survive. Just because Scry is so good, especially when you're just dying. Oh, okay. What did they draw? So I'm taking one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm taking two. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Now I'm taking one, two per turn. And I have a counter spell for whatever they play. What do you got, dead so far? Nothing. Oh, maybe they're just discarding to torment, yeah. Why'd you play the land? 
Okay, so they're dying really fast now. Supreme will losing utility, but anything they can play to get them out of this would cost a ton of mana. And so I'm just going to keep it in hand. Um, I know I could cycle it and find like a better win condition, but I can't imagine anything aside from like Hour of Revelation that gets them out of this. And when it does come to that, then I can just start... Uh, you know, maybe I should have shuffled their graveyard into their deck. Okay, so they can't take three, so they need to lose a creature here. So now they're hitting me for one a turn. If they play a spell, then they just die, if I can counter it. One more mana. One more mana. No! Yes! Okay, they're just dead now, right? Not a target spell unless it's controller paints three. They have two of them. Okay. So now they lose their wall, they go to three. And they yeah, I don't think they can actually get out of this. That's a lot of lands for us to draw. Man, this deck is good. Yeah, because on their upkeep they have to sack the wall, and then they need a card that either kills Torment of Scarabs... Yeah, they need to draw a card that kills Torment of Scarabs on their turn, otherwise they're just dead. This card is a pretty decent win condition if you can play it early enough. So yeah, if they play any card, they die to Torment of Scarabs. Sure. Woo! Got game one. Okay, so our opponent's deck was kind of like blue-black dirtles. Do I want Scribe of the Mindful against you? What do I cut? Our Revelation might not be good. I think I just put in a Scribe of the Mindful instead. And um, that lets me cut a Plains. Yeah, they have an island here. Do I see more aggressive cards? Maybe I'll put it back in the board white. Ooh. You know, on the draw, I think I can keep this hand. Because um, I have red for struggle to survive. And then blue for supreme will. And I only need to really draw one land, because Traveler's Amulet is kind of like a band. See? Look! This is an easy game. So now this amulet will likely be finding a... Huh. Island of Plains? I'll wait one more draw to see what I find. Because Torment of Scarabs would be nice to have. Ooh, that's even better. Okay, this is going to find a plane. So I'm going to do it end of turn. Be more mysterious or whatever. Look, maybe I have an essence scatter, you don't know. And here's where I cry when my opponent cycles a Nimble Obstructionist, when I crack my Traveler's Amulet. And realize all the mistakes I've made in my life. Okay, planes. Ooh. 
lanes. Uh, I think I want to keep up three mana. Now I can end of turn. What does this do? He's still on the mill plan here. Alright, we're gonna cast our birdie. Land. Perfect. So now we can go land. Do we want to talk about the lead? I think hitting land drops is more important. So I'm just gonna play Traveler's Amulet and then keep up my lands. For a Supreme Mill or whatever. Um, this one's finding a swamp. What do you got? Sure. Unsummon's not very good against a 3-1 flash flying cycling. So I think here I just Traveler's Amulet. Because um, it looks like they were setting up to do like countervailing winds or whatever. What is this? Sure. So this is going to grab a swamp. Yeah. Perfect, man. Easy game. Swamp. Um, yeah. So it looks like they're gonna, I don't know, they have like this weird mill sub-theme that's just not good. Okay, end of turn, we're gonna cast you. We're gonna attack for three and see what happens. Sure. <laughs> that flashback is a sorcery, okay. Uh, one, two, three. I think I'm going to play in the Mindful here. This lets me get back my sweet counter spells or removal spells or whatever. And I still have three mana up for the Nimble Instructionist. Even read Stalker. Sure. Um, yeah, I can kill that. Or just block it with my Even. If they want to spend their whole turn making me discard two cards. I think I let that happen. And we discard... Sure. Doesn't untap, and you have a desert. Okay. That's unfortunate. But much better targets for that than this dirtly creature. Um, yeah. We're gonna let that happen. So I'm going to kill this at end of turn because they have that big sphinx that I don't want around. Oblivion. Target opponent discards two cards. So I can counter it or I can discard my top crop elite and even of enduring hope. Or I can discard Takrop and Memory. Takrop really commits a memory. This is actually kind of tough. I think.
think just using my mana successfully is more important. So I'm going to discard Memory and Talk properly because they're just expensive. Um, and Avon's pretty good. So, I made fun of that card, but it got its value. Okay, we're finally going to get to hit with this guy. Nothing like we have the mountain thing. Now my opponent can't really attack very well. Easy game. Yeah, we can kill that Sphinx. That's a good draw. Uh, we need these three. Not bad. Uh, I think I just pass turn. Whenever you cycle, it gets smaller. That's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass turn here. With essence scatter up now, I'm just gonna kill the Sphinx end of turn. I can take four. It's not too big of a deal. Um, ideal play is he plays something bad pre-combat. Then I know better what's going on. Angler Drake is a sweet card. I think I'm going to Supreme Will that, actually. Essence Scatter will have utility later on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, this just cost more, and he has only one up. Because I think for me, the only issue could be man efficiency. And if I ever run out of cards, we can just uh, get them all back. No attacks. Strange. Okay, we have land. Manolith. Now we have a three drop and two drop. Uh, I think I'm willing to trade three for two. I'm gonna kill you at the beginning. Uh, no. Yeah, because he didn't attack, so we're just going to kill it now. And on the off chance they kill my Manolith. Attack with my Avon. His Nimble Obstructionist still has value. Creature. No! Sacrifice you. That's actually pretty good. Okay, now we're kind of in a standoff. See <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> that card's bad. Sure, you can have it. I don't even want to counter it. gonna get down the torment of scarabs. It's just so good. Uh actually 
I'm gonna attack first. Just ha them having less permanent in play is better with Tormento Scarabs, and I already have Aven Rainstalker to keep hitting in the air. So now this makes their mill plan absolutely terrible. Because they have to discard cards to do both. Um, I can deal with most any creatures that they have. And this is just going to do so much damage to them so fast. They only have one desert. Sure. Probably return your fetid pools, but you should have tapped that first. Yeah, you should have tapped that. Attack for one's not gonna get you there. Ooh, I like that. We can get back Scrab of the Mindful and the Top Crop Elite. I'm just gonna wait because I can always even read Stalker first. But this Torment of Scarabs is doing work. Either my opponent effectively doesn't draw cards. Yeah, or they take three per turn. Bounce to my hand, sure. I discard two cards. Ooh, I discard Dust Till Dawn and Sandblast. Yeah. Because I can just Essence Scatter whatever they play. Now I'm going to play the Splash Creature and Block. So they can mill me for. Four, seven, but then I get to shuffle it back in, so it's not a big deal. Is that their second consigned to oblivion? It was. That's pretty sweet. Torment of Scarabs, you. Uh, this costs five. So I can do it if I don't want to hold up Essence Scatter for a turn. But I could just do that next turn. I think I actually, let's see. No, I don't want to shuffle back just yet. They can mill me for... Well, let's see. If they do this, that mills me for four, for three, so that's seven. If they play that one frantic mill card, that mills me for 14, so I still have one card, so I'm even safe against that. Okay. Down to three is bold. Creature. Ah, spicy. I see the point of the mill.
Okay. Now what's interesting. So, target player puts the top four. So it's beneath the top six. So they can mill for four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I think next turn, I need to shuffle. Card's very good against me. Different wind guide. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually. I think I'm better off doing this. Um, yeah, I want to play Scribe of the Mindful. That way I can get Commit back. So it's beneath the top five. So they can mill the top four away, but it's still beneath the top one card. They've already drawn a card, so. I need to look up how this works. Um, approach of the second sun. If I counter it, I don't think it resolves, right? Yeah, if I counter it, it doesn't resolve. So that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, I can probably just counter it and then that's game. Real guide, sure. Smash for two. Interestingly enough, chumping saves less damage than just sacrificing it to torment the scarabs. So that's good to know. Um, turn target instant or sorcery card from my graveyard. To your hand. Put targets for null and permanent onto its owner's library second from the top. So that costs one, so the most I would need is five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I can still play top round elite. And yeah, I just need blue. Sure. So they mill themselves for four, then they draw the card. And if they try and mill me, I can always get back commit to memory. So he's targeting me, sure. Okay, now I just have a hard counter. Yeah, so if you try and mill me, I have commit to memory. But you kind of need to mill yourself. That seems weird. Sure. So they're dead. Right? 
Do you have to do the riverlet first? Sure. Commit to memory. Sure. Okay, so they have no cards in hand, so we're gonna get back this one. Yeah. We're gonna put even on top. So we draw that and then we can shuffle our graveyard back in. Woo! Got there! See you guys in the finals!